Well, all right. In today's busy world, we know it is so easy to get distracted, right? Between work, family life, we often lose sight of what's really important to us. So you may not know this, but May is something called Recommitment Month. And joining us this morning is inspirational speaker Karen Chow from New York with some tips on how to get back on track. This happens a lot of time. I think every month should be Recommitment Month. <laughs> every month should be. And people falter, they fall, everything slips and falls aside. That's why we have to keep recommitting all the time. Let's talk about how we can do that. I, I mean, obviously, it's a it's a vague question. There's so many different ways and so many different areas oh, we can recommit ourselves to. Absolutely. Um, right now, I'm dealing with myself, recommitting to my faith and my values and okay. self, those three things. And um, everybody has different ones. And what's not on that list test is health. It's a very important one. Ah, okay. You know, every New Year's, people are having resolutions. It's sure. always centered around health. But how many people, 80%, by the way, how many people? 80% because that's the ratio. They don't make it. So we're looking at some of the things that you say we can recommit to from dreams to values, lifestyle. Family and relationships, mm -hmm. that's something that we feel like, you know, we're always giving our times to, but in essence, that probably suffers a lot. You know why that suffers? It's because we are not recommitting to ourselves first and foremost, because sometimes we're just giving too much to the point where it becomes codependent. And then you don't realize that until you step back. Like, why am I giving so much and I'm feeling like I'm not getting as much back if they're not reciprocating? And it has nothing to do with them. It's everybody has a different level of reciprocation. It's what you're putting out there. So if you're putting too much, you have to stop and realize, oh, what am I doing wrong that's causing this? And it may have nothing to do with them whatsoever. So for me, recommitting to self is very important. Uh, top on the list there. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about why we stray from the things that we commit ourselves to, what are some of the factors there? Oh boy, just life. Life taking hold, distractions, work is one. A lot of things that are on that list actually are distractions. Mm -hmm. But if we're not balanced, they become you know, overwhelming. And then you have to strive for balance again, which is one of the S's on the formula that I've created. And that includes setting healthy boundaries, mm -hmm. right? Which were you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, selective friendships. Uh, you know, we always say as we get older, oh, we yeah. have less and less good friends, and you can count them on one hand. That's a good thing. That's right? all you need. You don't need more than that. Just <laughs> have the ones that have your back and have each other's back, and they'll give you a different perspective. Um, case in point, I went through something recently, and two friends. Uh, one of them gave me a very spiritual perception, and the other one gave me a very hardcore, well, you're being the enabler in this relationship. You need to step back and see why you're giving so much. I've been a giver all my life. Uh -huh. and so it's not me. It's the other person, and I can't judge them because they're not as much a giver as I am. You know, there's a lot of people probably watching this right now saying, I can totally relate to that. I can totally relate to that. We may see it, but how do we fix it? How do we start that recommitment again? Okay, it's a five-step process called the 5S Success Systems and Alliteration. <laughs> but um, the first thing, as you, well, one of the S's that you mentioned is setting healthy boundaries for mm -hmm. ourselves. And then there's uh, self-awareness, because if we're not aware of what's happening in our lives, it's going to keep on cycling until we stop it, just like anything else. Okay. And then you have... Uh, 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 striving for balance okay. and it's always going to be a challenge to strive for that balance always it's never ending because you'll come back to A again before you get back to the end You're all point. over the alphabet then. <laughs> yeah well I'm saying A to Z but sure. really it's S to S. Okay. Follow the S to S principle and you're going to be great. So okay. again really quickly it's setting uh, healthy boundaries, it's self-awareness, it's striving for balance, it's selective friendships and it's also um, What's the last one? Striving for balance, you were talking about. Yeah, right? striving for balance. And then there's one more. It's uh, staying present. Okay. Oh, okay. Always okay. stay present. If your mind starts straying, you have to start the cycle over Love again. Love it. Love it. And, you know, she does these great workshops, and she's planning one for the fall in Sedona, right? It's actually a retreat, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. In fact, I'm testing the waters tomorrow. Oh, okay. So I'm going to be there for a two-day retreat and it I can't wait I've heard so much about it and I'm going to be scoping out the area okay we'll yeah. put all the information on azfamily.com if you'd like more information thank you so much thank you and by the way uh, you can my website is up and running and it's www.mynamecarynchow.com all right we are ready to recommit ourselves to a better life guys April yes.